How to use a servo lead crimping tool for RC fumblers. The goal is to put one of these connectors on the end of the three wires. So you'll need some wire like this and some crimp ends like this. I got these from Pololu. Break off one of the female crimp pins. I'm going to be using the smallest section of the crimp tool right here. Now you'll notice that one side of the socket here is higher than the other side. See that little rim right there? Where this side, this half sticks up more than the other? That's the important part. So there's two little flaps sticking up in the rear here. You want to get this edge of the one that's closest to the middle against that flange that sticks up in the tool. Turn it upside down and then bring it in till it just hits that rim. You can see how that prong is just hitting that rim there. Then bring it down, I'm squeezing it, until it just holds it in place. Like that. So now it won't move. But you don't want to go too far and crimp it. You just want it to hold in place. So let's cut off about three millimeters of insulation off this black wire. Now we'll twist it to make sure all the strands are together. Now we want to get that insulation inside those two larger flaps. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure it's all the way in there. Let's see how much we got. See, that's about how much right there I've got. And I'll go ahead and twist it a little more just to make sure the strands are out of the way. Alright, so we'll feed it in till we get about that much. Okay, now let's go ahead and crimp it. Now when we let go, the self-locking thing will release and then you can just push this to knock it loose. And that's what we have. So you can see the two longer flaps crimped the insulation and the wire and the two smaller ones crimped just the bare wire. Now hold your connector with the tabs facing upward. The back side looks just basically flat like this. So hold it with the tabs facing upward like this. You can place the white wire toward you on this left hand tab here. So there it is. You can see how it's facing. And we're just going to go right in like this. And then that little tab will catch it. The red wire goes in the middle. Just make sure it's facing upward like this. You don't want to put the flat side in that way. The tab won't catch it. Just make sure it's facing upward. Poke it in. There we go. And then we can just go for the black one. And you can go ahead and if you've got this twisted cable, you can go ahead and twist it around before you put it in there. Some of the servo cables are just flat wire. Okay, all three are locked in. Job complete. Now you can also buy male crimp pins like this and they're used to make up the socket ends like this. The socket ends come in two pieces. One part is like the original here and the other is a housing that goes over it, just slides over the top of it. Once you get these pins into your, your regular connector like that you can then put this housing over the top of it and lock it and then you got one of these type of connectors. So you can see how these go together like that. So hopefully this video taught you how to get around those fumble fingers and is a good reminder if you forget how to use a crimping tool. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks from me RC and we'll see you next time.